Hello, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars review for Throwback Thursday, and this time we have the uh, TIE Interceptor and V-Wing sets from 2006. So on the front of the booklet, you see a picture of the main sets and that cool uh, Mustafar and Darth Vader border, well continuing with the Episode 3 theme. And the logos and the set numbers, and yeah. So a tie interceptor is on the back. Uh, add for Lego Shop at Home, and add for Win on the Island Survey, and a couple of crazy alternate builds, like a helicopter and sort of a Batwing resembling, but whatever. And the pieces that come with the sets. And then add for some, some of the other 2006 remake sets. And then for the second version, Slave 1, or rather third version, counting Django Fett's. And then how to open and close the cockpit feature, and the last steps. Win on the online survey. And then uh, add for both at once. And the pieces included. And then add for a couple of the 2005 uh, episode 3 sets and the main features of it and the last steps. And so for the TIE Interceptor set is the TIE Fire Pilot. So it's kind of similar to as it was in 2002 or so with the TIE uh, bombers that, well, kind of the same as that, same print and same helmet name, which is just the two empire symbols and not very much of detail to it. Okay. And no back torso print since it's an older figure and also Lift it up. And it's a plain black head this time around, rather than a like plain dark brown head. Not sure why that is, but I'd be fine if all the like stormtroopers used that, and so people don't get bored of the angry clone face. And yeah. And here we have the clone pilot figure, which if this can focus well. Well, at least the front torso print, which kind of aligns with most of the modern line of LEGO Star Wars, and also has some back torso print, which also done quite well, and has the helmet, which also kind of aligns with the modern line, and and like the other figures done at this time, where it's a plain black head, and it has a clear visor to it, which they ended up doing, which they just did once again in later years. So at least some of these designs do still kind of hold up to this day. And, yeah. and that's about it for that. So first of all is with the TIE Interceptor set. Oh, which quite nice designs, at least. Also one that we've never before had remade. Well, at least until within this year 2019 where but that was for star resistance and was well of course in red and way overpriced and yeah but anyways for the wing designs of which have some good greeble details with that all around piece and also with a tile of the empire symbol and as he has a lot of the like blue plates onto it which is a common thing with these older TIE Fighter sets. They had a lot of blue to them. At least until with the 2009 one. I'm not sure why there was a lot of blue to these. Anyways, well, whatever. But do you get a couple of jagged slips on the sides and some of those like castle hull pieces added to that. But disassemble it and you get. This like double connector thing. It's kind of similar to the 2002 or 2003 rather tie bomber set, but with a long jacket slope on it. Although it could have worked out without that 
but probably just wanted to make a little extra space to reach in and open it up. That's the cockpit area. Done just the same as the tie. A bomber set and other tie flyer sets at this time, where you can like, but you can like swing open, and there is that little control panel piece that can swivel down, and just about enough space to fit your tie fighter pilot figure into it. Although quite small to it, but and can close over quite easily. And from the back have. A couple of the like uh, domish pieces acting as both the back part and also the thruster. There. And you have a few lightsaber rods acting as guns to it. But although, uh, what was interesting that a little while earlier in 2000, that this and X Wing were the first of the UCS line, and they've never done another UCS TIE Interceptor ever. But kind of interesting how that is, but yeah. And that's about it with this. And to the other one, which the V Wing fighter, which done kind of similar to most modern V Wings, like get all those like plates making it have the V shape and as the bottom part just a couple of jagged slopes acting as like landing gear and although kind of wobbly to it even though they did fix that on later versions and then same kind of gun effect as the other did part of this cockpit they which did use on several other ones which were just clips right onto it rather than just being on a hinge. And as for the interior of which it doesn't have any much going for it, but it does have that little piece there acting as a control panel, but not much really much of a control panel there. And then that space to fit your clone pilot in and close it over him. But not fully airtight to it. Because if you flew off with this, it, he might suffocate from it. But yeah. And also on the top head, the top area of which is what also did happen with most other V wings. Oh, whoops, let me get this back. Oh, there we go. Anyways, like other V wings, where you have to like detach a, a astromech droid head to fit on the top part of it to make it work, but However, you don't get any astromech droid figure included with this set, and instead it's just the headpiece to be on there. But for the main feature of this is, you can like open the wings out, and these other flaps out, and those two, and got it in its flight mode there. But although on other V-Wings, you can like just turn them right upwards, but this you can't. But good thing that they fixed it. It has the back part of which has the like trans yellow dishes acting as a uh, thruster to it. And of which perfect symmetry, which the other versions do not have. Well, the 2014 version didn't really either. And I think that is about it with it. So on to, now on to our final verdict on these two. So overall, these I think of which are pretty cool, good Star Wars sets for 2006. Even though V Wing, we did receive about two, three other versions over time. The tight interceptor of which we did see, or haven't seen, ever seen a remake of, and I hope they redo it. Hopefully, like next year or the year after, they'll redo it for either or Empire or First Order or both. Yeah, probably both. And Lego, if you're watching this, be sure to redo that. But for the Empire or First Order, 
neither rather than for resistance and yeah. So if you like still have these sets from back then, well I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those who haven't, well or still have access to these sets, then I'd say go ahead and get them. Like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.